Hey, this is Ann with Gideon Gardens. I thought I'd show off my seed collection. Um, I got all these seeds. And of course, last night I just ordered $50 more worth of seeds. Um, tomatoes, I got some pretty interesting ones. Some greens and some wrinkled ones and black ones and white ones. Pink ones. Golden Jubilee. This one I'm kind of interested in really seeing how it tastes. It's the pineapple. I used to, I love the Cherokee purples, but I, I just, there were so many other varieties I wanted to try. Um, I decided not to do them this year. And of course, here's my um, tiny Tim and Orange patio that I do in the hydroponics. And then squash, summer squash and sweet meat, winter squash and red curry, spaghetti. And I'm growing some loofah this year sugar pie pumpkins and then the melons um, all different kinds of melons and then all different kinds of herbs shovel and dill and savoy fennel basil lovage borage uh, cilantro and I have some nettles let's see get my camera right some nettles I'm gonna grow down at the uh, creek bank because I love nettle tea and nettle for greens and all kinds of flower seeds some leeks and um, onions and then different kinds of carrots we've got three varieties now I think I have another one coming and then the corn most of my corn um, is actually the blue corn the blue jade and the black Aztec although I may stagger those plantings a little bit. I've got Chinese baby corn and uh, flower corn and then all the beans. The um, <clears throat> the scarlet uh, runner beans actually is, is going to be a threefold purpose. The flowers are good, the pods are good, the leaves are good. It's a perennial. But what I'm going to do is um, build boxes up along the south side of the trailer and let them grow up you know the vines grow up the side to try and cool it off in here in the summertime because it really gets hot and the AC can't keep up with it so that's a dual purpose and then the my favorite Kentucky wonders and then a couple that I'm trying new this year the Mayflower and the French climbing bean and here's an unusual plant that I've heard about I've never grew it before it's the rat tail radish they don't really grow a tuber, but they these pods, um, you can eat, you know, the pods or the beans in the pods. So I'm trying that this year. And then on um, the Chinese vegetables, the cabbage and the bok choy and tat soy. Uh, broccoli and, and um, regular heading broccoli and then sprouting broccoli. And then this is something that... Um, I'm going to try this year's salsify. I've never had it before, but it sounded interesting. And a couple different radishes. And then the lettuces. Um, the corn salad is something I've never grown before, so I wanted to try that this year. And then several different varieties of cucumber, the lemon. And the Space Master is what I grow in the hydroponic. And then there's a long one called a Chinese snake. And then these I got um, several years ago. I have five seeds left. They sent me ten seeds. This is the, the watermelon cucumber. It's a little tiny cucumber. It grows on a vine. It grew pretty good, um, but I lost the plants uh, in the winter when the, when the power went out. So I have five seeds left, so I'm going to try those again see if I can grow them up enough to, to get some more seed. And then um, artichoke and celery. And then these are my moringa seeds. I'm going to plant out 20 of those here in just not too long from now because uh, they have, they're a gr long growing season. And I don't know how I'm going to keep them over winter, so, but I will figure out something. I uh, want that for the greens. And then strawberry spinach and then all the kales. Red Russian, red winter, dwarf blue, the dinosaur kale. And then greens like mustard spinach and um, collards, turnips, sorrel cress, and uh, that's one of my favorite beans too, the dragon tongue. 
So, that's all my seeds so far. Like I said, I got more coming. Um, also from Botanical Interest. I really love their seed packets. They give you a lot of seed for the money. Um, so I really, and almost every seed that I've ever planted from them has sprouted. So they, there's a good germination rate with them. So I'm just showing off my seed collection. It's uh, cold and wet and snowy outside. So there's something to do. And then I'll resort these all back into their little containers. So this is Ann with Gideon Gardens. Take care and God bless.